Acumatica's XRP platform allows you to make low-code, no-code changes to your workflow. The simple modification of business events allows you to send push notifications, SMS messages, emails, and other notifications to people on the device of their choice without coding. The state automation engine is a new feature that we've introduced that allows people to make powerful changes to the way Acumatica screens work, once again, without coding. The new automation engine is basically a simple state machine. So if you see what we have here, we have a shipment record. The shipment can have these various states that you see in blue. From each state, you can create transitions. An action to, called release from hold would cause this transition to be called to go from an on hold to an open state. Within the state diagram, you can go in and make modifications to the way that your workflow is enabled. For this particular demonstration, I'll be adding a new state called inspect. The inspect state, we need to create three actions, inspect, fail, and pass. Each of these actions can be triggered in terms of a transition. In addition to what I'm showing you, you can also hide and make fields visible. So let's show how this is gonna look in the software. Here's a site and I've created a new uh, customization project called inspect shipment. I've already added the shipment screen to that and it creates these workflows. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to head to my workflow and I'm gonna create a new one by pressing this add workflow button. We're gonna use the standard default and we're gonna override what already exists. So when a new release comes out, we don't lose our changes. I'm gonna call this workflow inspect. Shun. Now, one of the first things we needed to do is needed to create three actions. So I'm gonna to go to my actions area and create a new action. My new action is gonna be inspect pass. And this is a workflow. And I want it to be a part of the actions menu. And I'm gonna quickly create two more. Okay, so now I've gone ahead and I've added my actions. Now I'm going to go back to my workflow, into my inspection workflow, and I'm going to create a new state. Remember that state we created in our diagram. So I'm going to create a new state. I give it an identifier. I'm going to call this. And now we've created our new state. You can see the new state has been added here. The next thing we need to do is add transitions. I'm going to do that for my diagram view. So you'll see that my inspect is already there. Let's zoom in a little so we can see that better. And I'm going to create a new transition from my inspect state. I'm going to call this one fail. So if it fails, we want it to go back to on hold. And it creates an arrow there. And another one, and another one that if it passes, we're going to go to open. So let's do look up our action, and we're going to send that to the open state. Now, last but not least, I need to get to the inspect state somehow, and we're going to do that from on hold. So I'm going to add a transition there, and we're going to do that, request the inspection, and that's going to go to our inspection state. And just like that, we've gone ahead and added those different transitions to our workflow. So if I open up my inspection workflow, you'll see that there's various fail and pass inspections. So you can see what our new transition looks like. You can also set conditions to make some of these things happen automatically should you want to do that. And finally, in the state itself, you can see that we can go take a look at the actions within there. So maybe we want fail and pass to be highlighted. So those are easy to select while we're in our state. In addition, if we uh, opted to on hold, we could make request inspection a little bit easier to find. So now we've made our changes to our workflow. Let's go ahead and publish and come back and see how it works.
with our customization published, we're ready to go back and see what happens. So let's first go to our sales orders and we'll try and find an order that's waiting for a shipment to be created. So we'll grab this quick one here that says ship and inspect. Now notice I can go create a shipment from the sales order just as I normally would. And the shipment's created with the status of open. So I'm going to put it back on hold because remember that's where we make, can make our request inspection action for. It also, it appears in the action menu and I also raised it here. So let's go ahead and request an inspection. You'll see that automatically creates the new status that we created and I can fail it to send it back on hold, fix it, request another inspection and pass to get it to the open state. Just like that, we've made powerful changes to the way that the shipment record works in Acumanica without coding.